by organ X. Okay. Beta, organic you must be very, very careful when you use the word organic. Easily said and done. No? Okay, what is the criteria of organic product? Uh, it must be free from the chemicals, free from the pesticide, free of everything. Like it. must be from the source of the <laughs> Far from the industrial area. You must have planted it in the land, in the land. five years, yeah. proven no chemical interference with the soil. Five years. You don't know whether there was a bomb there in World War II. You know? <laughs> Remember this. You put bomb everywhere. What type of soil is that? Can you guarantee that soil? has no chemical. Especially our country, rubber plantation. You know how much the sodium arsenide was used? Yes. How much? You know, I know. Elephants have died drinking empty drums with rainwater inside. I've seen an elephant die. A drum soda after emptied already. Rainwater dropped in. Elephant came and drank the water and died. Now how many rubber estates have been cleared? Planted with so many things we don't know. Okay, it's easy to say. If you go, I went to India, you know, to see where these seeds are being planted. Because I want to see the source of this. It is being planted in village gardens. Yes. Village gardens and all the villages there's an agreement to send the, all the seeds to one place. So study the land. Most of the land in Indian villages, not much of capital there. Not much. I cannot guarantee also, but I'm quite satisfied. We cannot guarantee, you know. People can put a label there organic. You know the prerequisites and conditions are very strange. How do you know they are not genetically engineered? Huh? Organic land, genetically engineered. Genetically modified. GMO products. You don't know. So don't just read from the label. <laughs> Easy to put on label. No? That's why my seeds are largely from South India. I went there. Big, big spot. Of course, my, uh, there's, I have a ginkgo product, ginkgo plus. Of course, the leaf is from China. China is the, the motherland of ginkgo. That comes from the dry. Other than that, all are seeds and plants. Organic, very hard. You must be very careful with organic wood. Don't just say organic honey, you think it's organic honey. No, no. So we, we know what to us, us, us. Ah, you have to tell like that. We don't know, we try our best. But these seeds are from natural. No, no chemical fertilizers and all that yet. But I'm just putting for a project for Penang government now, 25 acre project, herbal garden. So we don't know how we are going to go about it. Did we get the project? Yeah, yeah, uh, my question is, uh, like, if you're getting all these seeds and all this, uh, how do you know the uh, quality of um, the active ingredient in it, for example? Like, like for example, you talk about ginseng, you have Korean ginseng, you have American ginseng, which have different, which have different ingredients, which have different active uh, ingredients in it, in that sense. So in this, how do you, how do you maintain okay. that consistency? Very good, very good. The first thing, how do we find out what it contains? That's a very important question. We cannot analyze all the products. The only person who has done a comprehensive analysis of this product, found out how, what ingredient it contains, what how much of part familiar it is, and what it is, uh, percentage and all that, is Dr. Duke of the United States Agricultural Department. He has got the largest database of product analysis. And most our information is from his data bank. We cannot access direct, you have to register data bank. That is a general thing. Your question is, say if I take a cumin seed, whether the things inside is consistent or not. Yeah, if I buy it today and if I bought, bought it a year later, would it be the same? Okay. same thing? That's why I went to India. I went to see the cumin tree. The cumin seeds are very small seeds, you know. In that, in Malay, called in that. You cannot guess the exact age of the seeds. 
There are some marginal differences. Some may be young, some a little older. There is a mixture of age in the series. But analysis or our study on that, the difference is insignificant. It doesn't cause any significant difference in the spectrum of biology. Some may be parts per million less. PPM a bit lower in younger seeds, a bit more in older seeds. So, as a scientist, I have accepted this. That if you get an average seed, it's almost the same. But if you plant the same seed in this country, different soil, it may be different. We have to send for analysis. Because, don't know what type of ground. But now we are getting, we can maintain the bioactive spectrum of the seeds at least 90% plus minus. That I can assure you. And you can see from the effect and outcome and the result of taking it. If one is already on the multi-vitamins, right, does the spectral class replace that or is it an addition to what they're eating? Okay. If you even are eating after, when you look at multivitamins, they see so many, so many milligrams of vitamin C, this, 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 and all that, right? But if you look at spectra, the seeds, you may not have 10 milligram of ascorbic acid. You will have 5 parts per million ascorbic acid. But as what somebody said just now, or one woman said, we absorb everything. But in the multivitamin, there are chances we may not absorb the whole thing. But if you take our biospectrum, and if you have been taking good range of high dose multivitamins, you take together and face that out gradually. Don't suddenly stop. Because the high dose vitamin had an effect on you. When you stop, you feel a bit before this flow builds up. So, take together, but some people are psychologically attached to some products. So, you take like me for a while, when you are comfortable with this, then you can do it. Yeah. Okay. To expand on that, <coughs> example, a person who has uh, iron or magnesium deficiency and sticking on pills, like, so what do you advise? Okay. Good question. <laughs> when you go into like pernicious anemia or jaundice, your pale, not enough blood and all that, you go into a medical condition, you may have to go intensive treatment. Intensive. But while you are taking iron and all other things, injection, this and all that, you take this together. Because we have found out, if you are <coughs> anemic, not necessarily iron is the culprit. You need other things, folic acid, quality, so many things to boost up your blood cells, the bone marrow to produce the blood cells properly. So, uh, you can go, if you say your HB is 7, you better go quickly and do something. Then we just come to 10, 11, you continue with that. While you are treating, you can take this. The healing is faster and the recovery is faster. So what I mean is that, has there been tests to just do it with spectra? Without, if uh, you are in a bad shape, I won't do it. Mm. I won't take a risk. We have actually raised HB from 7, chronic pernicious anemia to level. But it took six months. So you take chances and uh, you cannot wait, you may collapse. But if you're borderline 11, 12 HB, then you can take hours. So I just make it to what you say, uh, Professor, for a, for a normal person, biospectra eventually we can replace the multi bi or multi uh, nutrition stuff we are taking, right? <laughs> this is important. But you see, the, de the need or the demand, our body's demand for vitamin varies with individual, varies with age, varies with medical condition, health condition. Some people need more. So how we can replace it? You may ask, can it one biospectra replace a multivitamin? Maybe not for all people. So you may have to double up or triple. Like me, I take four biospectra. That's my dose I found. And my blood test normal, 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 no problem. Healthy, energetic. But you may not be like that. Huh? If you are younger, you may take two. Yeah. Um, any healing crisis? Here, 
it's not like homeopathy, you know. Homeopathy, the philosophy is like versus like. If you have fever, give something which causes fever. So the body's power will be raised. My question to homeopathy is, if you want to raise the power of your body, if the body doesn't have enough raw materials, how it is going to improve you? Cannot. So, healing crisis doesn't. You take, you will see slowly.